back to Spaced Out Radio's Cryptid Tales. My name is Amber Beckward and today we are going to be talking about something that is happening in real time. That is right, this isn't an old UFO story. This one is completely brand new. So, it's been pretty dark and rainy and stormy here in Newfoundland, but back home for me in the Yukon, there has been no shortage of strange sightings over the last couple of weeks. So I'll kind of go back and restart from the beginning about what exactly I'm talking about. Uh, about a week ago, I had actually two friends post within 24 hours of each other. First one posted and said this, did anybody else see that green light go behind Grey Mountain? For those of you who have no idea where this landmass is or what I'm talking about, Grey Mountain is one of the taller mountain range um, areas around Whitehorse and you can drive all the way up to the top of it. You can see it from pretty much anywhere in town so it's pretty focal um, when you're looking at the landscape around the city. So. A lot of people commented saying, yep, yeah, me too. I saw a couple, like a couple of my friends posted about it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So thankfully for my friend, he had the smartest idea to actually film this green light in the sky. So I have that film um, clip for you guys right now. So as you can see, the light is kind of coming up over, flashes, and then disappears behind Grey Mountain. Now, most of us are talking this up to just being a meteor or something like that, so we don't really think much of it at this point. Literally 24 hours later, another friend of mine posts, and he says, so these photos came out terrible, but I was trying to capture these two strange aircrafts flying in parallel, matching each other's speed. They were too high up to be drones, but maybe you never know. So the photos are a little blurry. I'll pop them up on the screen here as well. But it just seems a little fishy to me that now we have heard, seen a video of a green light flashing behind the mountain. It could be a meteor coming into the Earth's atmosphere, but then 24 hours later, we get this picture of these strange lights. That being said, it was all a little fishy to me and it piqued my interest. So I just kind of kept watching Facebook. Well, then I decided because I run a group called Yukon Paranormal that I would post in that group to see if I could get anybody else's stories surrounding this mystery. Because I mean, let's face it, at this point, it is a mystery. And one lovely, lovely person decided to comment and share their story with me as well. This is what they had to say. I've got zero proof, but last week I was driving around town and saw a very strange aircraft. It was shiny like aluminum in the light and it disappeared. It couldn't have been an aircraft because it was staring, I was staring at it and it wasn't moving. It was far enough that I couldn't make up the size of it. It was the oddest thing I've seen in my life. I never thought I could ever witness something in broad daylight. Broad daylight. Somebody sees an odd craft flying in the sky that is not moving, but is far enough off that it is still large, but close enough that she can't really tell anything, aside from the fact that it's definitely not a plane, not a satellite, and it's in the middle of the day. Consider my interest peaked even more so, because really, what is going on? For those of you who don't know about the Yukon, it is actually one of the highest places of UFO sightings in Canada, and honestly, this just proves it. Um, this entire week has been a really, really strange and iffy uh, with us coming up on the last, or well, I guess the first day of fall and the last day of summer. It's just becoming more and more amped up. And I think with the way that the world is going right now, we're just preparing for an energy burst of some sort. 
So let's think about this for a second. This experience that happened in broad daylight happened a week before the green light and the photos of the two aircrafts matching each other's speed that multiple people have witnessed. Now, let me tell you that there is so many things about these stories that make me so excited, but also really sad that I'm not there to experience them myself. Now, like I said, the Yukon is one of the highest per capita places that we experience UFOs here in Canada, but nobody talks about it. But I will tell you that even though we don't talk about it, there's actually a ad in our newspaper, our local newspaper that does have a phone number to call if you experience UFOs or if you have experienced Bigfoot. So those two things being put out there and these strange occurrences happening more and more regular over the last little while, it really piques my interest. Now, now that I've shown you guys the footage of the video and the photos, I really do want to hear your thoughts on what might be happening up in those skies. I do have some more stories about Yukon UFOs that will be coming later on in this season, but I just really thought that this one deserved the attention that it should get right now, as it's happening, as people are still seeing things up in the sky. So here is my question to all of you. Do you think that all of these events happen to be connected? Do you think that they're just random coincidence to happen all within a week of each other? Or do you think that there is something a little more suspicious going on? It's hard to say. I for one would love to believe that it's UFOs and that my friends are witnessing something super extraterrestrial, but who knows? Maybe it is just a drone, maybe it was just a meteor, and maybe that strange aircraft was just another Goodyear blimp. Although up in the Yukon, that would be a little strange. It's really hard to say. I wanna know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if you are up in the Yukon and you saw these things that you're watching this video right now, or if you have experienced some odd UFO activity over the last week yourself and where you're from. Because I'd really like to know, is this just happening up north for whatever reason? Or is the rest of the world starting to see a shift too? That's it. I can't wait to read your answers and I'm so, so excited to see what you guys have to come up with. I think that's everything for today. I would like to give a massive shout out to Ron Bumblefoot Thal for all of our music here on Spaced Out Radio. Of course, thank you to my friends who decided to share their stories with me and allow me to put them out there to the public. And also, don't forget to join our Spaced Out Radio Space Travelers Club where you can get tons of access to some pretty cool stuff and check out our merchandise store. I know that Christmas is coming around and maybe it's a little too early to think about decorating, but you can definitely get a heart head start on all of your gifts. That's it for me, guys. Don't forget to check out all of our social medias, mine as well as Spaced Out Radios, and we will see you next time.